Good morning and welcome for this service. Today is the first Sunday of the Advent and we are preparing ourselves for the coming of the Lord. The first coming, in the face of the first coming, we also remember the second coming. So let us commit this time in prayers. Lord, we just thank you and glorify your name for your precious gift of life. You have been there with us and you have always called us to be your children. And as we come to your, into your presence, hold us together. Give us the ray of hope that you are there with us. And as we worship you and glorify your name, may this time of worship be a frankincense before your eyes, O Lord. Accept our prayers, our singing, our message, everything into your precious hand. In and through Jesus' name. Amen.
from? The Bible reading is taken from Mark chapter 13 verses 24 to 37. But in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, men will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth. The generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with his assigned task, and tells one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. Thanks be to God. Let us bow our heads in prayer for the word of God. Lord, open our eyes, open our hearts and help us to see the wondrous things of your goodness. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our Redeemer. Amen. Today we are here in the first day of the event. And today's reading also talks about the second coming of Jesus, how he was trying to explain to his disciples. And this is something that he was preaching. He was uh, talking to his disciples at the edge of his cross, crucifixion and the resurrection. So the cross may have been a big uh, burden for him, but then he also was encouraging and empowering the disciples by these words. The last days, the Lord's day and everything, whatever Isaiah has been talking, he was telling about. So for them, it is a mystery. They did not understand. So Jesus said, from the fig tree you learn. When it sprouts out leaves, then Jesus is at the gate. Not he has come, but at the gate. Some say during the time of uh, Israel's coming back to Palestine, the promised land, in 1947 and then declaring for, in 1948 as a nation, many other countries also had their freedom. So this is like Jesus is at the gate and he is coming soon. But of course, we know from the, um, Jesus' first coming and his departure, people were expecting and they were saying Jesus is coming soon. But the challenge for us today is there. Due to Corona, COVID-19, many people have been talking about uh, Jesus' second coming soon. Um, it has been there all the time, as I said, but then, if it is the second coming, nobody knows which nobody knows, when and how, we have to be prepared. Preparing ourselves, 
to meet our Savior. Then also preparing our fellow beings like uh, the way John the Baptist was preparing the way for Jesus, we, are ought, we also are ought to uh, prepare the path for Jesus. So, it is not something uh, is glorious or maybe something uh, we would like to sort of, it, uh, Isaiah says it's an awful day. But then, and Jesus, he also says it's a glorious day. So, we are being called to uh, think about it. Somebody says, eschatologies, we are the sweet by and by. We'll meet the nasty here and now. This world is nasty and now we see all those things. But we are called to be prepared. If Jesus has to come soon, the gospel should be preached throughout the uh, world. This is what in Matthew 24, 14 we see. Then also in the Old Testament we see uh, Jeremiah's time, he hid the Ark of the Covenant and it was kept safely. But Ron Wyatt have found it in 1982. From 1979, he started the work and he found it and he didn't touch or anything because there is awe and wonder in this uh, Ark of the Covenant. The Arab, Arabian uh, small maid person was helping him. He went into the cave and he did not, he may have touched or something, but he left the place without touching it and ran off and they couldn't find him. In the same way, even he, he didn't want to remove it from the place from where it is, but they have, he has informed the Jewish rabbis. But they have still not taken it and placed it in the um, new... Um, in the new temple, they were to uh, keep the... Um, the Ark of the Covenant. But in the Ark of the Covenant also there is so much of uh, mystery in it. It has, it, is, it was set right beneath the cross from which Jesus was crucified in Golgotha. When the uh, um, earthquake and all those things happened, his blood has seeped through those cracks and fallen onto the left side of the ark. And the ark DNA, mysteriously they were able to check on it, though it is so many years long, and they say it is only one set of chromosome there. So it is Jesus' blood is being formed. So in this mysterious ways, God is bringing to come to pass Everything what he has prepared for us. The second coming is to be there at hand. He is at the gate. But we, God calls us to be ready. And he will come suddenly. He will come majestically. But we are to be aware that we may not be less astray. We are to keep awake. We are to keep alert. These are the words which are there found in the text that which we have read. And God is calling us to be ready to accept him and for us to glorify his name. John Wesley in his hymn, Lo, he comes with clouds ascending. He really pictured the whole thing. And we will sing that hymn by uh, closing this sermon. So let us bow our heads in prayer to commit ourselves in God's hand. Lord, accept us. Make us, keep us ready. Keep us be aware. Keep us alert. For your coming and 
help us not to be found fault, but be accepted in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lo, he comes with clouds descending once for favor, sin has lain. Thousand, thousand sins attending swells the triumphs of his train. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God appears on earth to reign. Every eye shall now behold. Robed in dreadful majesty, those who sat at naught and sold him, pierced and nailed him on the tree, deeply wailing, deeply wailing, deeply Shall the true Messiah see those dear token of his passion still his dazzling body bears calls of endless exaltation to his With what rapture gives we all those glorious cars? Yea, amen, let all adore thee, high on the eternal throne. Savior, take the Power and glory, claim the kingdom for thine own. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, everlasting God, come down. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we come to thy presence with praise and thanksgiving. As we enter into a period of Advent, may your blessing and guidance be with us, O Lord. At the same time, we come with prayer and supplication for our country and all the countries that are going through this viral infection. Lord, you are the king, you are the shepherd, you are the living saviour. Our life is in your hands, our time is in your hands, Lord. We uphold everyone in our day-to-day -day prayer life and also we pray for those who are in need of something that for their life situation. Lord, bless them, guide them and give them strength. Oh Lord, at this time we pray for the city mission circuit. May your blessing and guidance be with them, Lord. Bless them and guide them. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore.